Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. So I have three locks on my bench at the moment and I have three different sets of keys. They're all different. Now the customer wants them all to be matching and of course normally we give two keys with three or five or ten locks if they're key like. But in this particular scenario it would be nicer to give the customer the extra keys so they can have two keys per lock. Just allowing them to have more keys. They did come with the lock but the problem is they're all different keys. So in this example here what we're going to do is we're going to find a way so that we can reuse all of these keys and just recut them. Recutting doesn't cost as much and uh, that will sort out our needs. Okay so I'm going to look at the code and the code's actually stamped on the back of these ones. Okay, and I'm going to write the codes down. So we have five, six, five, sorry, two, five, three, and then we have two, five, two, six, five, three, and we have five, five, six, four, three, seven. Now, we could make all of these keys work by using master pins, little tiny pins in here to create, create more shear lines, but that would just lower the security in the actual lock. So the customer then won't be getting the maximum amount of security out of their lock cylinder because it'll be working the two, the two keys that we've made it work, plus a few phantom keys or other keys that might be in that combination. So the best way of doing this uh, to save the key blanks and all the rest and not cost us any more money is to find the lowest cuts here. So the lowest cut here is a five. Then I come along here, the lowest cut here is a six. The next cut here is a six. Lowest cut here is another six. Lowest cut here is a five. And then the next cut here is a seven. Now we have to go over our combination and see if it's random enough. Because we've got to repin all three cylinders, uh, we can actually change one or two of the pins if need be. So we've got three sixes here, which is gonna be quite easy to pick. So I'm not too happy with that. So what I might actually do is I might drop that down to a seven and um, then I can leave the, the double six. That should, oh, actually no, we'll make a seven there too. That will make it um, high, low, high, low, five, seven, okay. So that's a little bit better of a combination. So we're gonna recut that key to code and then duplicate that same code to all of these keys here, reusing the original key so we're not paying anything in key blanks. Now when I, I'm picking, when I'm, doing this code, we have to make sure that uh, the numbers are at least seven away. What that means is that you cannot have a one and a nine cut together because what will happen is the point of the one and then the deep down cut of the nine, one will uh, cut over the other one's lead ramp. So you'll have your pin that should be here and you'll have your uh, pin that should be here. And as you can see here, it's on the ramp, not on the top of the peak where it should be. So that's why it's always good to uh, do it on paper. And then you can see if there's gonna be any imperfections in the key. Having three uh, triple six right there would also make it quite easy for you know a lock pick to go in there and find three pins in a line. So that's why juggling them up, even though the one cut higher and lower, it's still better to have it odd, even, odd, even, high, low, high, low. That gives a bit more security. So in this particular example, yes, I do, because I'm keying alike, I do have to key alike one extra set of cylinders. Okay, granted. But in, at the end of the day, the customer's going to be more happy because they're getting two keys with each lock rather than two keys in total. So it's a better product for the customer. And, um, you know, it's a little bit, little bit better for them, a little bit longer for us. We could just simply put one lock aside, take the keys from this and just rekey two locks. Uh, but once you're rekeying, it's only a couple more minutes and it's always better to give a better product to your customer. So we're gonna go with that code there. We're gonna cut these, any of these keys to code because the, the combination we've got here is lower. So, which means we've got enough meat left on the top of this key to actually just cut it down. So we'll cut one to code and then we'll duplicate that to all the rest of them after we've pulled them apart. And then we should have uh, we should have all of them keyed alike once we once we recode the cylinders to suit. Leave your comments down below and thanks for watching.